Hi, I'm Chris Jenkins, and we're at Universal Studios Sound Department on the Universal lot in Los Angeles, California, and we're going to give you a quick tour of our facility. Our division does everything for post-production sound. We have feature stages, we do numerous one-hour and half-hour TV shows, we do some game work, we do Foley, we have three ADR stages, and we also have a large sound editorial presence. We have about 50 sound editing rooms that split the time between feature films and television. Where we are this morning is in the Alfred Hitchcock Theater, where we do feature mixing, and uh, some of the tools we work with here are the Harrison MPC 4D. It's a large console. It looks huge for what we do, but we actually use almost all of it all the time. We're an all Pro Tools facility, which everybody in town is, so it's easy for us to get audio from any client. Our technology does not limit who we can work with, which is really important. So we work with the independent filmmakers, as well as the A-list feature people, and the demands for the little guy out of Sundance is no less than it is for the A-list director's got $150 million budget. We spend a lot of time, sometimes 16, 18 hours a day, seven days a week with the clients in here, so you have to have all the right amenities. Um, so being in a big room that has lots of room for people to move around and play basketball and to watch the movies or have other diversions is a really good part of the business as well. My name is Rob Carr, I'm the mix tech here for all the stages, and this is actually our theatrical trailer stage. Uh, we do some television spots in here as well, but mostly theatrical trailers. What is mixed here will then be cut down into several different versions, 30 second, 45 second, uh, various other versions and we have several other stages that are all mixing on the same console or a similar version of it and they can all kind of mix within the box as it were. I'm Eric Norris. I'm a sound designer at Universal Studios in Hollywood. Things have gotten a lot more convenient with both networking and the speed of the network. The speed that we can access the sounds. Back years ago the sounds were on quarter inch on CDs and now with networking you can uh, search through hundreds of thousands of sounds in, in just seconds. Hi, I'm Doc Goldstein and we're in the Common Machine Room, or CMR. Uh, this is a room full of technology. We've got Pro Tools systems in here. We've got our SAN fiber channel network in here. We've got some backup nearline and offline storage in here. And basically, this is connected to five of our mixing rooms in a common way, so we have a lot of flexibility. And as you can, if you look around you, you can see all the Pro Tools systems as well as console electronics. Hi, my name is Jeff Taylor. I'm the chief engineer here at Universal Studios Sound Department. You're in our data core right now. Uh, in this room is all our data storage for our sound department. We have high-speed links from here, 10 gigabit to other areas within the department. In here is the nerve center for the entire sound department. Hi, I'm Richard Legrand. I'm Director of Operations for Blue Wave Audio. This is an 18,000 square foot facility that houses four different business units. We have a television division here with three stages. We have a restoration department and archival department. We have a transfer department that can handle conversions between analog and digital. It's a busy shop. It works, you know, round the clock. We run two shifts here at Blue Wave and it supports basically all the media uh, going back into the library. My name is Larry Walsh, I'm creative director at Blue Wave Audio and uh, what we do here is uh, we create audio software for uh, DVD, CD, Blu-ray, satellite, television broadcast. Basically anything you press play on at home runs through Blue Wave in some capacity or another. Hi, my name is Jim Phillips and I work here at Blue Wave Audio doing audio restoration in the No Noise 2 suite here using Soundblade. And a lot of the projects we do here are cleaning up and restoring the older audio, taking out all the pops, hums, bad edits, making it fit to the picture. There was two different cuts. And uh, as the platforms get more sophisticated, the power of the program, you can do much more in a much more efficient manner and have it be a better end result for the, the user. So we're really proud of what we do. We're only as good as our last day here. And uh, we have a very gifted group of employees that work with us, a really good creative staff, and um, we love doing what we do.